Silicon Valley Data Capital is a seed and early stage venture fund. Seed capital can stereotypically be called two girls, a dog in their garage coming up with the next uh, great software company. Um, or it could be somebody who's already in market shipping a product. In fact, interestingly today, um, 50 some odd percent of seed rounds, which are now at about two to $3 million in, in a seed, um, are already producing revenue and have a product in market when they're raised. Um, Series A typically means you have a product, you certainly have some revenue, but we invest in the, are the, typically the first institutional, meaning not just angels or friends and family money investing in a company. And um, we saw a little bit of a hole in the market. A lot of seed funds today um, don't have people who've been in the business for a very long period of time and may or may not have some of the resources that I think a lot of entrepreneurs want in terms of um, particularly introductions to customers or um, help and how to go to market. We have a venture partner, Tom Kippola, who was part of, who was part of one of the founders of something called the Chasm Group. People typically know who Jeffrey Moore is. He wrote a famous book in Silicon Valley called Crossing the Chasm. He's a venture partner, which means he has um, interest in our fund and um, our companies. We will introduce our companies to him for help and. What's our real message that's going to resonate with our customers early on? We also have a couple of very large corporate investors who we bring our companies to as potential customers. And then from my network, both at RBC and other financial institutions, I've been on the, I'm sort of unusual in that I've been on the buying side and I understand both how uh, enterprise software is consumed by large companies and also have quite a good network of buyers which is often both desirable and helpful to the companies to be able to get their earliest customers. It's a job I really love doing. I mean, I think that's the, you know, the best piece of advice you can give somebody in their career, I think, is find what you love to do. The earlier you find it, the better, you know, the more you'll do it. The more you do it, the faster you get promoted. And oh, by the way, the dirty secret is it doesn't feel like work, right? So um, uh, I think that's really important.